Good morning! It's Sunday morning and seems the logical time to ask the question. So, are horses Catholic? No, they're not. And they're not Muslim, and they're not Jewish, and they're not Protestant or Methodist, but neither am I, which is a good thing because somebody has to do the work on Sunday. They're just horses and they don't know the difference between one day of the week and another. And on Sunday, it's paddock day. It'd be walker day if we had a walker, but we don't. So it's paddock day. Hi, Clarice. So that means unless we have runners, the horse gets day off in the paddock while I do the boxes and get everything else done that needs to get done around here. If we have runners during the week, we bring in a rider who will work with me and we'll, t we'll take out the horses that are racing. This week, we don't have runners until the end of the week. And that's not a sure thing. So easy Sunday. Everybody goes in the paddock. I'm <laughs> having coffee. <laughs> the coffee is still taking effect. As for Clarice, though, would you stop? Go. Cool. Uh, right. So what we come in back, 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 back. So on Sundays, we put them out in the paddock, let them have a bit of turnout time. And it's their day off for the week. Now, do horses need a day off? Generally, no. A day off, if the horse has to stand in the box for a day, isn't a day off. It's a day in prison. Horses have to move, and they have to do stuff, and they have to work. Back up, honey. So, oop. Luckily, we have paddocks to put them in. Wait for me. Okay, Clarice, let's put the big guy in his paddock. Up. Magic can go in the sand paddock, which is hardly a paddock anymore. It desperately needs redoing. We rarely use it, as you can see. But since Magic, uh, Magic's a pretty calm fellow, and he actually really doesn't care if he's, he's just a little bit isolated from the other two paddocks, which if we put one of the fillies in here would be a problem because they tear the place apart. And it's not electrified, which is the other problem, as you saw the other week with Leo jumping out of it. Um, but for magic, that's fine. And his buddy will keep him occupied. Okay. Nobody loves the paddock more than Ella.
Sunday is a good time to talk about uh, a little bit about how labor law works in France. Uh, keeping with the biblical theme, the labor code, or the Code de Travail, is a document bigger than the Bible. And the only people who have read it cover to cover are labor lawyers and disgruntled employees. France is a fantastic country to be an employee, but it's a really shitty country to run your own business. When I came to France, in 1994, in the newspaper business, again, you younger viewers can Google that newspaper reference and find out what that means. My fellow editors were having meetings to complain about not getting their 10-minute eye break. Are you guys fucking kidding me? This is, it was a fucking paradise job. The salary was amazing. Six weeks paid vacation, paid health. Amazing place to work. Uh, but again, <laughs> it's amazing if you're on the payroll. It's not so amazing if you're the boss. The labor laws are really, really, really restrictive, and the mountain of paper that is required to hire and fire anybody is uh, sort of mind-boggling. In the horse business, who has anything to do with the horse business knows, a lot of people have been exploited for a lot of time. A lot of long hours that might not get paid for. People have been screwed in this business. The problem is, not all trainers are out to screw their employees. It's hard to find people who... Um, aren't always on the lookout for what, how you're going to screw them. My people are good. I've got a good staff at the moment. It's not a problem. In order to hire anybody in France, they, always have, they all work on a contract, a labor contract, about five or six page document. You sign it, they sign it, and they don't set a foot into your yard without their contract. Nobody wants to work more than like two hours on a Sunday. If they're here longer than two hours, they start to like Itch. Frankly, I only have about nine horses in the yard right now, so for, for me to do Sundays, it's actually kind of fun and relaxing. I, I'm not in any kind of hurry. I run the horses through the paddock. They all get to stand out there for a couple of hours. I get to, you know, get to putz around and work at my own pace. It's not a problem if I've got nothing else going on. I'm happy enough to do the Sundays alone, and it saves me money. We have really hard, high social charges. Now, the benefit of that is that unlike in America, for example, if you break a leg, you're not going to go bankrupt. The, the health care system is fantastic here. A work writer takes home 1,800 euros a month, um, costs me almost 3,000 euros a month with the social charges. It's keeping the, the number of staff that you need and not, not anybody more. So you're really always looking to economize on staff as much as possible. There's, there's no flexibility in the labor law. That's the challenge too, because especially if you're a small trainer, okay, today I've got nine horses, tomorrow I might have 15 horses, and the next week after that I might have five. You know, horses come, horses go, that's the way this business works. But in France, you can't just say, ah, sorry, I don't have as many horses, I don't need you this week or this month or forever. You have to go through a huge long process to get rid of staff, and that, that costs you a lot of money. That's the joy of Sundays, that's why I spend a lot of time on Sunday doing this. If any of you out there are in the horse business or the farming business or the agricultural industry at all, um, leave a comment. Let me know how you handle your staffing issues on Sundays or holidays and what are the rules where you are. Um, we've got a little bit of a worker's paradise over here, so it'd be good to know what you guys do. Leave a comment. Um, just a quick recap on our racing week. We had three runners this week. We had Faster, who was a beaten favorite in Dieppe. She finished fourth. Did not travel well to the race course. She's a bad traveler, so when we had a bit sticky ground, but okay, she still comes in the money. Didn't do as well at Amiens with Night Candle and Hello Ella. Hello Ella ran one step back, like a two-year-old again, so she didn't handle that tight track at all. And Night Candle didn't handle the blinkers I put on her at all. So both of them will be back out in about 10 days or so. Everybody's come out of their race well. This week we might give Magic his comeback race on the, the uh, in the amateur race on the on the Prix de Dien on Oaks Day here in Chantilly. And we have a couple of entries in Dieppe but we are I'm not sure if we're going to take those or not with uh, again with Night Candle and, and Hello Ella. So we um, we won't be on the road so much this week. We have more runners coming up the week after that. Stay tuned. Ring the bell. Subscribe, please. We're getting there. We're getting to our targets. You got to help us meet them. And uh, we'll see you next week.